When we got married 60, 50 years ago, um, my husband's uncle, who works in a shoe repair shop, made us a nice pair of little brown leather shoes. Uh, that was an Easter, and they had um, a raffle for Easter eggs. We sat here, and the men were that side putting the, sh the soles and the shoes together, and uh, one of the blokes won an Easter egg, and there was a fight. The blokes were fighting, and all the shoes were piling up on, <laughs> on their conveyor belt, because <laughs> they all set at certain uh, stages and they used to take them off, derm, put them back, take up and derm. And of course they all got piled up because they were having a fight. I remember that. Fighting over the Easter egg. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. And you were talking about cycling. Yeah. Cycling into the city. Yeah. Into work. Yeah. Cycling home, dinner time, cycling back again, cycling out at night. Rollers around my neck. Yeah, even when we went and saw the Beatles in the Grosvenor Rooms in Norwich, we cycled and we walked home all the way from Riverside out to Rackheath. No fat people when we were young. Don't put that on now if you're cold. But he was that. Punks, weren't they? Oh, the punks, they are. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, they. He was in a. He always getting a fight on a Saturday night, and he came in and asked me, if, could I repair his jacket? And <laughs> I said to him, next time, just say, wait a minute, take your jacket off, fold it up, and put it on the pavement, and then have your fight. <laughs> and I think that might have been the same young boy, who about what just after 2000 who when I went to the park and ride and didn't have enough money for the enough change for the ticket and he said oh June I remember you you helped me here's the ticket <laughs> I can't wow. remember the young man <laughs> but it seemed as though my name went before me <laughs> and this was because he had the machinery I had the machinery to do it and what, what yeah. sort of machinery what sort of role was that you? a post trimmer that's what I use, the post trimmer. What's it involved? Ah, doing the uppers of the shoe, when the shoe was, that was the last job on the shoe, really. Um, machining around the top and trimming off the line and as you go round. And if you did, you put your hand behind the shoe and brought the knife down, you sometimes go through your knuckles. <laughs> Don't worry about it, stick some plaster on it. <laughs> Sweets? Yeah, we used to take <laughs> sweets in, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we used to take our bag of sweets in yeah, and, and pass change them around, one out, didn't we? Yeah. Here's one coming down for you, so and so. Someone come down for you, so and so. On the, on the conveyor belt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, every yeah, Fridays. Fridays. So you yeah. brought a quarter pound of sweets or half a pound of sweets and you went on with half a pound of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> but we used to eat them as well. We <laughs> <laughs> used to, but not many. You didn't get a chance to, did you? Just <laughs> no. keep coming up and. Yeah. Because yeah. we were on piecework as well, so you yeah. couldn't have time to waste. You had to keep working. Did you ever do indoor work? No. No? Oh, I enjoyed them. I don't know what oh, factory I worked for. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's a little place down the back of St. George Street at the back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.